Okay, so uh, today we're going to make an animal shapes project using the shapes tool in Photoshop and we are going to pay particularly close attention to uh, using the warp tool on our Photoshop shapes to make the organic shapes we're going to need to uh, make these animals. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I've got my animal shapes folder right here, <clears throat> and we're just going to pick one of these. Uh, I think I'm going to start with the toucan today. So I'm going to grab the toucan out of the folder that I've copied to my computer, drag that down here to Photoshop CS4, and it'll just open right up for me just like this. And there's really only a couple of tools that we need to use for this project today. Uh, we're obviously going to use the shapes tool right here. And we're also going to be using the Move tool quite a bit. Please make sure, uh, let's do the Move tool first. When you're on the Move tool, make sure you have checked Auto Select Group and Show Transform Controls. Down here on the Shapes tool, you want to make sure that you are making shape layers and that you have no style chosen. So. Uh, I'm going to start with my shapes tool here, and uh, we're going to start making our toucan. I'm going to start with the middle of his beak here. The shape I've picked is the rounded rectangle tool. You notice I've got a radius of 10px. If yours isn't 10px, you'll want to make it so. I want to pick a color. Um, I really want this bright yellow that we're getting here on the beak. So uh, I've used my color picker to just grab that bright yellow color. I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm just going to draw my shape. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's not going to be perfect. And I'm going to make my toucan pretty simple. You may want to make yours a little bit more detailed than I do, but I, I want to get him done quickly. So here I go. There. Here's going to be my starter shape. You'll notice it's not really anywhere close to the shape of his beak, but that's what we're going to fix right now. So I'm going to go back to the Move tool now. And you'll see I get the handles on the edges and the corners of my shape. What I want to do is I want to click directly on one of these corner handles. So I'm going to click right here, right on that handle. Click. Now you can see up here my toolbar changes. This is the tool we're looking for. This right here is called the warp mode. So I want to click that and now I get many more handles that I can use to warp my shape. So I'm going to start grabbing these. I can grab this and look at how I can bring the shape up to start to fit more of what the toucan's beak actually looks like. Much, much better. And I'll bring this up a little bit, bring this one down a little more, kind of like so. Now again, yours may end up being a lot more detailed than this, and that's okay. It kind of comes out like so. Mm, I'd like it to come up a little more too. Great. There. Now when I'm happy with my shape, I hit the return key, and there it's done. So what I'll do is I'm going to keep going. I'm going to click here. I'm going to make another shape. Uh, this time, I, you have to be careful, because you see down here, I'm still on that shape one layer. I don't want to be there. So I'm just going to, on the Move tool, I'm going to click out so I'm not selecting this particular layer. Now I can go back to the Shape tool, and now I'm going to grab this blackish color, and uh, I'm going to stick with my rounded rectangle, only this time I'm going to make it kind of right about here, and we're going to create our beak out of this shape. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to click right here, go to the Warp tool, and now I'm just going to drag this out and start to drag these shapes 
into his rounded beak. This is going to go over my yellow. And you can see, I keep on building and warping and making this look how I want it to look. That's pretty good. I hit return, click out, and now you can see I'm starting to build a pretty nice looking beak. Okay. Now, you can see here on my layers as well, I've got two layers, shape one, shape two. As I keep going, I'm going to build more and more layers for shapes. Eventually, I will probably also want to include a background of some sort. So uh, you can put that in uh, behind him. In fact, we could actually do that now. Uh, I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to call this backdrop. And then I'm going to drag this layer down to the bottom. And now I'm just going to put a simple gradient on that layer. And I'm going to grab something. Uh, you know what? We can do a custom gradient right here. This will work. And now I want to double click that. And let's just grab some samples. I double click here. Uh, let's go green. Okay, I'm going to double click this middle one. I'm going to make that kind of a lighter green. And I'll double click this one on the end. I'll make that this off white. So there's my gradient. And now I'm going to draw that uh, just kind of across like this. Bam. And now you can see kind of where my toucan is starting to uh, take shape here. Okay, so you'll continue and uh, work on building your shapes and warping them and making your animal look great.